Well, today is the day. The cutlass comes, and it actually should be here in a few minutes. 30 minutes or so. But while I'm waiting for that, I figure I'll go ahead and change the oil pressure switch in my car simply because we've got low oil pressure reading. Which it's easy to do because it's right here in front of the motor. But I'm gonna have one happy person when she gets home from school because she's been waiting for the car for a while. Oh yeah. It's been sitting in there a while. That's probably the reason the whole well, hopefully that's the reason it's reading low. We'll find out in a minute. But we got cars moved around so that we could get this car backed up and I can get the uh, rear bearings. Now we have the sensor replaced, the switch, the sensor. Yeah, let's see if the oil pressure goes up any. Hey, that was the problem after all. Oil pressure is now reading where it should. It's reading where it should when before. Get you right there. It was reading right there at the first tick mark. So, bonus. All right. Good, we got proper oil pressure reading. That, that makes that makes things good. But now the car is backed in here so that we could go ahead when the weather is a little bit warmer go ahead and get the uh, bearings replaced rear bearings replaced which hopefully is another day or so and then uh, get the O2 sensor replaced so I can get that code off the dashboard and then that'll be really it be driving that we got that car moved right there out the way so that when I'm done with my car the Camaro, the black Camaro, my mom's car, and the Cutlass go here. But the Cutlass is going to be the one made, worked on the most now, because mainly mine's done. Well, my Camaro's done. So I don't have to worry too much about working on that. I'm going to film the process of her getting backed in. I'll speed it up a little bit, but, you know, yeah. I haven't seen that car in so many years. Faded a little bit, but you know, the paint is well, the paint is roughly I want to say 20 years old, so whatever. You know, no big deal. Uh but yeah. Nice to see that car again. Here he goes. Nah, you're standing. It's okay. You stand. No. Oh yeah, she still got her old rust marks and everything. That's all right, though. We're going to get her taken care of. It needs a good bath and a polishing. That's for Doug on sure. Well, the polish may hurt the car more than it helped it, but, you know, what more can you do? It'll be all right.
Well, well, she's here. She needs a lot of work, but she is 44 years old. So the major area is obviously here and here, but every other Cutlass Supreme that I've ever seen has had those spots right there. The paint, well, you know, it's 20 years old and what do you expect? It wasn't exactly one of the best paint jobs in the world. It was a Mako paint job, real quick and done. We also have the 442 style hood that my brother loved so much. I don't know if my daughter's gonna want to leave it on there or not. The cracks in the windshields that have been, well, told her she was gonna have her work cut out for her, but that's okay. The trunk is full of parts. We're gonna get those taken care of. And some surface rust there, it's not too bad. But, for the most part, I haven't got under it. I haven't really, uh, well, let's take a peek real quick. No? Huh? It's not too bad under here. He said he had to replace the gas tank, but I don't know why yet. But I guess I'll find out when I take it down and put the new one in, because there's already a new one up there. Uh, looks like the exhaust has been changed to have the cutouts right, have it right there after the muffler before the, the rear axle. I'd hate to say this, but the underside of this car being 40 some years old looks a heck of a lot better than the Camaro I bought. Imagine that. The underside has got surface rust everywhere, but that's easily fixed. I mean, a little bit of sanding and spray painting. To, you know, this car was one of the cars that was always taken care of. Oh, look, this self, self lubricating undercarriage. <clears throat> um, well, not everything else, you know, everything else still looks good. The headers still look in great shape. They still look good. Obviously gonna take those out and repaint them. Well, paint them. Oops. Bump, bump. Yeah, everything else still looks in good shape. You know, body work isn't too bad. This is the average spot, like I said, for every other cutlass I've seen around this back window bottom here. So obviously this is gonna come out, you know, the windows, this piece won't have to come out. The opera window here, maybe. Depends on how bad this went. But uh, the more I look at it, the more I see it's really not in as bad a shape as I thought it was. I know where this came from though. The sanded flat spot. That's mine. Sanded it too much in high school. When I had it in auto body class, when I was learning how to do body work on cars. Let's see if you can see it better this way. I don't know if you can see it, but it flattens out right there. I was trying to sand out that crack right there. I thought it was a crack in the paint. Didn't know it was a crack in the, um, in the, uh, the, the nose piece here sanded it too much and ended up sanding it flat that's my little trademark on this car right here i'll probably end up having the car when to get the car repainted get the car repainted i'll probably tell them to go ahead and leave that part there fix the crack but leave that little flat spot right there that's my little mark it will always be you know the cracked lens is still there from when this car got into an accident but yeah obviously the plastics are dried out so hopefully we can find some new stuff laying around this has been gone since i've had it and things probably have to make something to go there but yeah we're gonna have fun with it
I'll get it under the hood in a little bit later. So now that my car is pretty much almost done, I just got to get the uh, the bearings done on it on the rear. Once I get those rear bearings done, once I get those done, which will hopefully be in the next day or two, then this car, the Cutlass here, this will be moved into over here and then uh some work will begin on it all the parts all the part mainly the gas tank will be the first thing so that uh i could get it started up and in some sort of running condition um hopefully get it up and running at least enough to move it around the property so that if i'm doing work on it i can move it in and out of this space here without having to push it but if i have to for now rig up a setup for it to feed gas into the carburetor yeah i'll probably do that so but anyway yep you get it running get it moving over here so it's in this spot let's straighten this tarp out and then uh We'll get that car worked on as soon as I get the rear, hopefully get the rear bearings and stuff on this one done tomorrow so that I don't have to listen to that noise anymore because yeah, it's really bad on the right side. Don't have to listen to it anymore. But I can, well, I've been driving it and I've been driving it anyway, so it's not like I can't drive it, but uh, get a bearing puller and get the job done for that. So right now I'm going to log off of this. Put it up and I'll see you all later. Bye.